Adil Kumar sharing with you a question from my subscriber on quadratic inequalities. The question is, find range of x if 36 minus 16x minus x squared is greater than 0. Now, there could be a typing error and therefore I am using this question in two different forms. So I'll say part A is to find the range of x if this function is greater than 0 and then we'll also look into part B which is let me rewrite here find range of f of x if if y equals to I should not write y 36 minus 16x minus x square is greater than 0. So normally we use range also for the y values but range of x is also correct I mean which means possible values of x. So both are correct but anyway let me add this dimension to it. We'll find range of the function itself uh, for the inequality to be true. Okay so I hope the concept is clear. Okay, so let's begin with the solution. The question before us is 36 minus 16x minus x square is greater than 0. Let's rearrange. We get minus x square minus 16x plus 36 is greater than 0. Let's take this minus outside as common. So we get here x square plus 16x minus 36 greater than 0. Now <clears throat> what we could do is we could straight away factor this product minus 36 sum as 16 that means 18 and 2. 18 positive so we get x plus 18 times x minus 2 greater than 0 or we have something like minus x plus 18 x minus 2 is greater than 0. So that's what we get. Now let us try to sketch this particular function and see how it will look like. So we'll sketch here. Since one of the roots is negative 18 which is far here and the other one is at plus 2, somewhere very close to the origin. Uh, let's find the vertex also. So what we know from here is that the zeros, let me write down, zeros are at minus 18 and 2, right? And opens down. But what we will do that we'll also find the vertex. So vertex will be at minus b by 2a. So or you can say midway between them, correct? So we can say x is, let me write down here, x is will be midway. So x is will be at the zeros divided by 2. So x is will be at x equals to minus 18 plus 2 divided by 2 which gives us minus 8 right so the value of this function at minus 8 will give us the y value so we can substitute minus 8 here we get 36 minus 16 times minus 8 minus 8 square right so that's what we get okay so let's calculate this value. It is <clears throat> 36, that minus minus becomes positive, 16 times 8 minus 8 square, which is 64. Uh, something wrong in the calculations. Let's redo. 36 minus 16, I mean, okay. Uh, so let's do these calculations, which have 36 plus 16 times 8 minus 64 equals to 100. 
So we get this value as equal to 100. And therefore, the vertex is at, I mean, 100. X value of minus 8, Y value of 100. Clear? So if I have to sketch this, I could sketch a parabola kind of like this. Not to the scale, but anyway, we can say that this point here is at y equals 200 and x value at minus 8. The x intercepts are at minus 18 and at plus 2. Okay, so that is the graph which can help us write down the solution. Now let's write down the solutions. Part A, which is range of x, that is to say, x will be between the values minus 18 and 2. Correct? These values. That is the range of x. Do you see that? All possible values between minus 18 and 2. And part B, is to find range of the function. So the range of the function is, is from here to here. Do you see that? So range of the function is the y value, which is greater than 0 and is less than 100. So that becomes the solution of part B. So I'm not very clear if uh, the question was really range of the function or range of x as written here. So if it is range of x, in that case, the solution is right there. Perfect. So that is how you're going to solve it. I hope that makes sense. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.